Don't try to fight. Ray J, you're not slick, my nigga. Mm. I, this, this nigga's good. I know. The, the Breakfast Club interview. All right, yeah. let's talk about it. I think that is a let's top talk. Let's talk about five, the Breakfast Club interview. Maybe top three interview of all time. Charlamagne even said that that interview, you single-handedly might have saved the Breakfast Club because they needed a moment and you gave it. That is true. He said that. He did say it. Said that to my face. I told y'all. I was talking to my people about it. They didn't believe me. I was like, yo. They didn't I, believe you about what? Because, you know, because I was like, yo, that call, that call in Vegas, I mean, it could, probably was one of the worst days of my life. But the Breakfast Club probably got super life from that numbers. Oh, they up. say that. Yeah, yeah they exactly. I told you they say that. that. But I'm, I'm humble, though, so I ain't going to, mm -hmm. I don't want to ever say what is already said. No, they give you a credit. They give you you a know, credit. and, and if, if not, it's cool, but I'm humble. You know what I'm saying? And that day, I w remember I was like, I tried to be <laughs> humble. I tried to, da, 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 but, and I just went. But this is why that, that interview is, is probably so iconic. Uh, whoever has a beef with Fab? Nobody. It, it, re it wasn't a beef. I was tweaking. You got to understand. Oh, however, Fab was the, like, the comedian rapper yeah, on Twitter that but time. No, That's but what rappers were. I know. He, was, he had a lot of jokes on, on Instagram. But we squashed it the day before. We were hanging out. It, it was, was all good. I had on <laughs> slippers with no socks trying to get in nightclubs. Like, I was moving the wrong way. And it, I made a mistake. I was tweaking. It was Vegas. It's like hangover four or three. Or you know how you saw the shit. It, that's what happened. Did DJ Clue squash and then I, well, Clue didn't. I mean, it just kind of, like, Fab and them didn't take that. that it, it ain't take it seriously. You know what I'm saying? They kind of just laughed at it, which you should because yeah. it was just, it was outrageous. It was more entertaining than it was something to where it was a real problem, you know? And then, like, I seen Ruggs, like, um, in Atlanta, and we, I got to talk to him about it, and then we got cool, and I was doing a show at the Ricky Smiley Show. And then after that, it's, it's all good. We never even talked about it. Uh -huh. But I take full responsibility on that night. You know what I'm saying? And I was tweaking, and it was not cool, and Fab was a cool dude, and it was just, it was out of control. I stayed under a rock for like two months, man, because I just was like, it was uncool. People was rapping about it. It was talking about it. He was like, nah, that's cool. It wasn't cool. How long have you been working with the publicist that walked in this morning? Um, I just met, I just met her. Today? No, I didn't meet her. I seen her before. We, 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 we met 15 years ago. But I just met, met her again today. Because oh. she's working with, for the play, right? Yeah, she, she's the PR publicist for the play. Right, and she's doing a damn good job. Because she got me here. And she got me one other interview. And then I'm done. Let these shit And then trip. nobody's gonna hear from you again? Nah, everybody hear from me every week, every Monday at, at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock on VH1. On they can hear me, yeah? There's a lot of people to hate. Who do you hate on that show? I, I don't hate anybody. In I don't life? Hate, I barely you don't hate shoot. anybody in the whole, in, in the world? Hell no. Why hate when you're making true. money? Spread love. I'm making money. I, my, 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 my wife's happy. I'm married now. I'm hella faithful. A thousand quadruple percent. And because of all of that, are you telling Mona to not uh, to not pit y'all in scenes with like Alexis Guy and, and Nikki and the rest of them? I, I don't really see y'all shooting together too much. I see the clean image thing. Yeah. It's taken. I, I see it happening on television as well. I wouldn't want to shoot with them either. So I'm I asking you. I mean, when you, you seen me in season one and season two, or it was just. Yeah, that's when you was turning up. Uncalled for. Mm -hmm. Certain things I did, I was ashamed of myself. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, it was good to watch it back because I was like, whoa, that that does not look good. Like, it, it's not cool. It's, and, that, and it helped me kind of curve that kind of uncool savagery that you still get paid for, but overall, morally and just, you know, with your family and Brandy and my mom, at some point I had to just switch it up. Like, it couldn't, I couldn't keep going. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I just changed because it was time. It was, no, it was no time to keep digging myself in a hole that had no exit on the other side. I'm shocked I don't see more scenes, uh, especially studio scenes, with you and A1. A1, who's doing great out here. Uh, yeah, right oh, he's killing Shout yeah. out to both of those gentlemen. We be having a lot of fun. The comedy of it is dope. It's, it's real refreshing. Like, you got a lot of drama. Then you see our scenes at that moment. And it's refreshing, but as this as the season goes, it gets a little crazy 
in the last few episodes. No, I'm not going to even trash. Lie. No, no, no. I'm talking about just, w w w I haven't seen the show, but I, I know the shit that's about to happen at the end is hella loud. It's trash. Not the, not the end. Everything that you're doing on the that end. show. Not the end. This is, this shit. Zell. Not the end. Zell. It's all opinionated. You, you I can't disagree. Defend I can't defend nobody, but I can say that the shit that's about to happen. Zell's about to fight homeboy and go to jail. gotta tune in. It is, no, it got something to do with me. Oh. It's all, it's my story. Hmm. Ray J with a lie to you. So fucking <laughs> good. I promise Great you. plug, another, my bad, I'm sorry. Ah, ah, damn, you kick a nigga? I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> how much longer do you see yourself doing the show or reality TV in well, However long VH1 want me, I'm on autopilot. I got my tech company is what's the most important, and TV for, the, for me is important. But the tech is so brand new and fresh. Like, I got shit that's coming out that people won't understand for another five years. Mm. Tell us about it. It's just te the technology, the transportation, just the way things are going to move in the future. I've seen it. I've been to Silicon Valley. I've seen, like, I've seen it. You can't, you shouldn't be in Silicon Valley now, right? Huh? You're married. Not that part. Oh. He's, he's part? talking about tech. He's talking oh. about tech. Oh, <laughs> I'm talking about something else. Silicon or Silicon. <laughs> I'm I talking about oh, he, silicon. Keep, silicon. 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 Joe's just trying to be a child. No, no I'm serious. I'm serious. Okay. <laughs> but nah, it's the wave in technology is crazy. And I'm coming mm -hmm. out this year for Christmas week. I got a new big deal. Raytronics is now about to kind of take a side step for this new company that kind of bought into what I'm doing. So I'll come, I'm coming back. Give me a month and a half. I'm going to be back with a bunch of new product. For us? And a whole big announcement. Yeah, everything for the whole, for everybody here. Oh, he's so full of shit. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I, swear. I, wanna, I want everyday struggle to be sponsored by Ray Tronics. Let's go. Talk about it. Let's mm -hmm. go. I don't know. Sure. You gotta talk to somebody. What is this? Well, we went off topic. We wanted to talk about you. You and Chris Brown released a tape together uh, a few months back, and it seems like you guys have a good relationship. Yeah, and talking about hoes trying to set people up with the Kevin Hart thing, what's one of them hoes trying to set up Chris Brown in his house and you defended your man? Yeah, yeah, I had to, man. I, Dude, what happened with that shit, yo? She had on top of wild ass stories. Yeah, something <clears throat> about he tried to do some tour which was not true, and then there was 100, 200 police was there, the shit all on the helicopter on the news. We was in there playing video games. <laughs> it was like, well, why were y'all playing video games when the helicopters were flying? Because, because nothing was going on. Uh, we were, it was like... <laughs> there was something going on. It was police helicopters flying. Outside. There was nothing going on in the house. Well, you spoke out to defend him after saying basically yeah. like people aren't always reporting the facts and like attacking him. Do you feel like he's still dealing with that now? How is he um, doing? I think he's doing good. I think success outweighs all of that. You just keep dropping successful projects and... You just kind of keep taking it one you day at a time. You think success outweighs deteriorating uh, and not taking care of yourself well, and I mean, losing weight and your cheekbones being visible? Is Chris on drugs, man? Because that's what I keep hearing, man. We don't have time for that. Yeah. So you think success outweighs all that? Answer. I think he's one of the most hardworking people in the business, and I think that outweighs everything besides family. I have to think. I'm telling you, his tone of voice just make the shit sound correct. It's deep. It's, it's, <laughs> it's correct. It's not. You, you don't gotta really think about it. It's real. It's 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 correct. What I said. It equals out to being. I mean, to being. Think to being. It, yeah. It's for real. Ray J said it. It is. It's right. I'm <laughs> wrong. It's there, y'all. It's for real. <laughs> I believe. Yeah. Are you guys gonna be working together more? Um, we got. We got. We did a bunch of songs. I just put the mixtape out because we had so many songs. Mm -hmm. I just put 10 out so we wasn't thinking about, you know how you do so many songs, you still got them in your car when you listening to them. The more you can get them out, then the more we can keep working and not thinking about records. So I threw out 10, we got about five to seven more. Just there. No diss but, songs though, right? Just songs? No, yeah, no diss songs. I what stopped do, doing diss songs. What do you and your wife be from now? <sighs> Man, I be having, I, I, I'm junkie. Really? A little bit. I wouldn't have thought that. I'm junkie, so I got to clean up, and I can't be so messy. Like, if I'm looking for something and she folded up all the clothes, I just tear everything up trying to find something. And she spent all that time folding them clothes up. This nigga's one of the best niggas ever. Yeah, I mean, it's the one fold up. You he, thought he was talking about... No, no, okay. no. I, I think it's ill that he's telling me that <laughs> what him and his wife beef about. Folding clothes. For real. <laughs> and it's also um, just... Tell her what's going on. 
Back to this old shit, man. I don't want to hear about a folding closet. Let's, I heard what they said in y'all ear. Of course, she laughed. I didn't even hear. I'm trying to hear a little bit. The, 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 the this so song, you know, you, I do ear pieces too. <clears throat> yeah, you regret doing that that uh that this song too. I'm like. Kim or whatever. I don't that regret. I had it first. first off, I don't regret anything I've ever done. That song's fire, though. I just learned from every fucked up thing I did. You think that's fucked regret. up? No, 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 no. I think that song. I mean, Empire shit. They don't think it's fucked up. I mean, I think a lot, it made a few people mad, but that's some people's favorite song that they run up to me and tell me so. This whole thing before I got married was confusing, bro. Now that I'm married, I can see it all because I'm just it's all fresh and positive. But before, the dirty shit. I was getting paid a lot for it. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? It's Hard like, I know I, I want to do right, but there's a bunch of checks for the fuckery. So you have to, I had to balance it, and then I had to go, you know what? Fuck that money. Which was hard to do, man. So was it, it was hard like to just go, you know what? I'm cool with that life because it was so much there. But when I met Princess, and after we went through all the ups and downs, and then we got back together, I was done. I'm ready to move to the next phase in life. You have to go to the next phase. The, the, if you had a good time in your youth and you was just your young man world, live it up and then get the fuck out of there. Mm. Get out. You got to go. You can't keep going, man. It's over. You got to wave the white flag and say bye to all the bitches. <laughs> bye, bitches. And focus on something with quality, something that you love, somebody that's been there for you, that's fucking with you. And that's it. And you got to stand up straight and go... Even if you got to shed a tear, it's <laughs> over. So, so you it's was done. a change man, right? Hmm? After when you see like Kanye like responds and he responded like in a speech one time and then the video, like the famous video, like how do you take that since you're changed? You're changed, Ray J. How do you view all that shit now? It's all art. It's all art. It's all a part of whatever society has allowed us to do and be. Hmm. And you have to accept that and you have to go, damn. Is it, was it creative? Yeah. Was it over the top? Yeah. Did I get a check from it? No. So. You gotta respond. Huh? You gotta respond. Uh, no? Nope. I didn't, re I just, it's all good, man. We, we all did shit, you know? And it's all That's love. Thing, bro. At the end of the day, we all getting money. They, they married, they got kids. I'm married. I want to have kids. And I think all of the, the crazy savagery shit that was done is now that whole book is closed. And it's like, it's put to rest. And now we are all doing new things, you know what I'm saying? And the more money that we make and the more kids that we can have, you know, let's just all just smile and get to the money. It's just, it feels good. Yo, what's what you say you were making like 20K of that, of that old ass tape? That's a little case? Like 20K a month? Like I said in this song, I said, I get royalty checks from Vivid, uh, but I don't be chasing them. All money ain't good money. That's what my mama told me in her April. Kevin oh, Lyles with the paper. Oh, Kevin Cosmo with a facial. Uh, Kevin Hart in the dark, and I'm Kevin Bacon separating. Drop the top on the Rolls Royce. The you need come a up like an alien. Go. Ray J could spit. Pause. Ray J has bars. I got, I got singing bars, but you I never had singing bars talk about, about music anymore. <clears throat> like, I do now. Honestly, I do now. If we're gonna have a, a conversation with some stuff, then I don't give a fuck about all this other shit. You seem a little off now. music. No, I do. I care about. It. I did like eight albums in my own. I shot a movie. I did eight albums, but I only care about music now because the tech world has allowed me to be free and not give a fuck about a hit. So the songs are doper. The concepts are raw. The bars and the, more of a singing format is there. Like I, we spent a million dollars on the movie coming out. I just been in the studio at Platinum every day. I've been here. I just swipe my card and however many, 24 hours until it stopped. Just working, working, working. You and K Slay still tight? I love K Slay. That's my dog. And um, I'm, I just want to come back so strong with the music and make sure I don't let them down because they all believed in me and wanted me to keep excelling. And then I kind of, you know, just. But some of us that are fans of your music want to hear mature Ray J music. Like, I'm, I'm with him. You married. I don't really give a fuck to talk about uh, uh, I hate it first, but I love that song. The story maybe took over, yeah. but we want to hear yeah, what music from good, this mature, mature oh, yeah. Ray J sounds like. Oh yeah, well the album is called Redemption. And, yeah, and, that's mature. And, and it's about all, it's about me then and all the obstacles that I went through leading up until now and having that redemption to grow, you know, but also look back and go, damn, it was lit. 
it was lit. I had a good time. I knew when to stop because if not, it can only get worse after it gets super great if you won't, don't go to the next phase. Mm. So this is what's confusing. <clears throat> Berg, hit maker, my bad Berg. Berg is now, uh, he's calling himself the new Motown. He's redoing a bunch what of What is building. he doing right now? He's redoing, he's doing music. Is he? Doing music. What does he got? That's cool. Yeah. What this nigga is good. Yeah, I'm cool for it. What has he got? I mean, listen. Yeah, he's been a, I don't know yeah, what we are, good. but I know that as long as he's getting money and he's healthy, God bless him, and I hope he's doing well. Oh, man, I got a call. I don't have no, There's a beef there somewhere. No, no beef. Not at all. That is, is, is there a, I see not an eye, or? I'm not going to do that. Like, I, I got shit to do. Shit, I was leading to a, a sexy can I part two, but. Oh, no. no that was, that was a hit. part two. Yeah, but... Well, was, not, not like part two, but like, not hit. part two, but I another mean, record. It's over. <laughs> It'll never be another Ray J. Youngberg record, man. Okay, so there is a problem. All right. I don't know. Uh, or, 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 at least, or at least a part of it. A part of it. We'll trying. call it that. All right. I'm tossing pinky. <laughs> I, love, <laughs> I love pinky, I love man. R. Kelly. I, like, I, 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 R. Kelly. I don't think that... I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I would like to do another song with R. Kelly. But going back to do a song with R. Kelly. What do you think about everything R. Kelly's going through right now? Well, been going through. What is he going through? All these headlines. I know you've seen this on the internet. Yeah, they trying to say he kidnapping hoes, man. I don't know if I believe it fully, see, but, but his seen history. Seen no, is cut it out. You, I have not seen it. You haven't seen any of this R. Kelly stuff. I haven't listened. The, the alleged The cult. media. I've told myself to stay off of the phone. Do we want an R. Kelly and Ray J wait, song? Wait, is it because no. of what you've gone through? You're like, you know, I'm not feeding into this bullshit. No, anymore. I just, just you say you have down I, moments. 